Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And uh, Shalom to the Akim, that scattered through the four corners of the globe, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is another uh, sit down lesson for this uh, Sunday, uh, November 21st, 2021. And the title of this uh, sit down lesson is going to be, you know, even, even though we might be poor as Israelites, but we are rich in the spirit, you know. And I'll bring out this uh, scripture right here for that. This is the book of James, chapter 2, verse 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren, has not Yahweh chose the poor of this world rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he had promised to them that love him right because you know you know even though we might be uh we might be poor as israelites you know the low you know because like the scripture says the uh the meek and humble should inherit the earth because you know the israelites throughout the whole planet earth do I mean, except the celebrities, you know, because, you know, they got money. But the Israelites that's living an everyday job, you know, two or three jobs just to make it through, you know. You know, they are the poor of the earth, which is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the 12 tribes of Israel that scattered abroad as well, too. And the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. You know, they are the meek, the lowly. You know, like the scripture says, the meek shall inherit the earth. You know, that's why even though we might be poor of this world, but we are rich in the spirit. Because the reason why I said we are rich in the spirit because, you know, we love the heavenly. We, we continue to try our best to love the heavenly father and his only begotten son as well, too. Who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. You know, keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of our ability. And, and acknowledge and continue to grow in the truth and continue to acknowledge that we are the children of Israel, keeping the law, statutes, commandments, you know, uh, continue to do the will and the work of the Lord, which is order for us to do, you know, and he's going to give us the promise, you know, the kingdom, because the kingdom of heaven is going to be established, you know, on planet Earth, you know, the new heavens and the new Jerusalem is going to be established on planet Earth. You know, because he, you know, the Heavenly Father, he loved us. Just like the scripture says, uh, he chastises who he loves. Because, <clears throat> you know, if we disobey him and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai as well, too. Because, you know, in order to get to the Heavenly Father, you got to get through his son first. So, you know, we try our best to worship and please the Heavenly Father, son, Yahweh Shai. You know, first, you know, through, you know, first through uh, Yahweh Shai. And then through the Heavenly Father, that's how, in order to, we, we can be able to get to the Heavenly Father, you got to get to his son first, you know, because he, uh, he, because he gave the keys to his Heavenly Father, he, you know, he gave the keys to his son, you know, who he can call Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shai in Hebrew, in order to get to the Heavenly Father, you got to get to his son first, because, you know, that's why we continue to please the Heavenly Father's son, Yahweh Shai, and we're going to continue to worship and please the uh Yahweh Shai because it's all about Yahweh Shai, you know. And we uh to you know, till we fully establish Yahweh Shai on the planet earth. That's why we're doing the will and the work of the Lord, you know. That's why, you know, like the scripture says, he revealed his secrets to his servants, the prophets, because you know, we are the uh servants, the prophets of modern day, you know, because the uh, prophets are old. Now the prophets are back, you know. That's why the Heavenly Father revealed his secrets to the uh, prophets, the servants of the Heavenly Father's uh, son, Yahweh Shai. And we are those men, you know, Lord willing. We continue to do the will and the work of the Heavenly Father and fight for salvation, you know, because we are the meek, the lowly. You know, because the scripture says, I roughly paraphrase once again, you know, the meek shall inherit the earth. Because the Israelites, they are the lowly, you know. They are the undesirables. Even though we are the salt of the earth, but we we're not using our talents uh, fully, a hundred percent towards the heavenly Father's Son, you know, and towards uh, the heavenly Father as well too, you know. 
but you know we are we're, we might be poor but we are rich in the spirit you know to get the king the keys of the kingdom of heaven you know what's, what's going to be established on the planet earth because you know the heavenly father has definitely revealed his secrets to his service the prophets you know which is your have a shower is reveal the secrets to us you know because once again i'm gonna say it again in order to get to the heavenly father you know we gotta get through his son first because you know because he gave all you know because the heavenly father gave it all to his uh son his only begotten son hamashiach yahushai our, our king our lord our savior you know that's why we call him big brother yahushai because you know because he he died for the children of israel's sins and you know we gotta owe him back more for that you know that's why we gotta continue to uh, do the will and the work of the Lord, the will and the work of uh, Yahweh Shai, you know. Because, you know, he died for our sins, you know. The Heavenly Father's the only begotten Son. That was a, a, a big, huge sacrifice that the Heavenly Father's Son did. You know, he died for our sins. So we gotta do whatever we can to just to pay him back, you know, to pay our big brother Yahweh Shai back, you know. Who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. You know, that's our true, that's our true savior and our redeemer, you know, because he died for our sins. He died for the children of Israel's sins, you know. That's why, you know, um, you know, that's why the Heavenly Father revealed his secrets to us, you know, because we, we are the uh, bloodline. We go back to the bloodline of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob of the 12 tribes of Israel because the promise was given to us, you know, because we are the uh, true children of Israel. We are the lost 12 tribes of Israel, you know. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the speckled bird as lice as well, too. Because, you know, because we, uh, we are the poor of this planet Earth, you know. That's why, you know, uh, even, what, even though we might be poor of this world, but we are rich in the spirit. We are rich in spirit to uh, be meek, humbleness, and sincerely. And to know these things and continue to grow in these things and continue to learn these things that's being in this truth, you know, because, you know, since we are starting to continue and to establish to know these secrets revealed to us as being the service, the prophets of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, who you even call Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shai in Hebrew. I know I've been saying that about three or four times, but, you know, that's that's a serious thing, you know. And that's why, you know, we might be uh, poor in the spirit physically as well, too. But we are rich in the spirit because we know, you know, we know these things and continue to learn these things. The true sound doctrine of the, the gospel, the true teachings, the, the, cheat, the teachings, the right way, the righteous way, you know. And, you know, like the uh, scripture says, feed my sheep. You know, that's why you see the men of the Lord continue to feed the sheep of his people, you know, which is the Israelites, you know, because you got Israelites of the world. So you don't know who they are. You know, that's why the Heavenly Father order us to wake up the lost sheep of the house of Israel, because it's going to be like one third of remnant is going to be saved. You know, and Lord willing, you know, we be those men starting with the elders, apostles, of great millstone. Been in this truth for 30 plus years and still going strong. And the elders in our camp and the brotherhood scattered through the four corners of the globe, you know, and the speckled bird Israelites as well, too. And Lord willing, we be those men, be that remnant, you know, because uh, two thirds of Israel, they're not going to make it on this side. A lot of them in these last days, you know. But, you know, I digress on that one. But the fact of the matter is of uh, this uh, sit down lesson is, you know, as I uh, begin in my introduction of the sit down lesson, for uh, Sunday, November the 21st, 2021, is, you know, we might be poor, but we are rich in the spirit to know these things, to the, the secrets being revealed to us, you know, the service, the prophets of the Heavenly Father, Son, Yahweh Shai, you know, as being his servants, us being ambassadors for Yahweh Shai, you know, to be the mouthpiece of Yahweh Shai as well, too, you know, that's why we might be poor but we are rich in the spirit to know these things the wisdom knowledge and understanding just like in the book of isaiah 33 6 33 and 6 says wisdom knowledge should be the stability of thy time you know 
and his scriptures and the fear of the Lord is strengthened of our salvation, you know? That's why we continue to do these uh, sit down lessons and be out on highways and byways. Truly meekness, humbleness, and sincerity for this truth continuously, you know? And so with that, I hope this was edifying through the spirit of power, grace, and mercy of Yahweh, Yahweh, you know, and, you know, we might be poor, but we are rich in the spirit to know these things, to know the secrets of the Heavenly Father. He revealed his secrets to us, the true servants, the true prophets of Yahweh, Shai. You know, like the scripture says, again, the meek should inherit the earth. You know, we might be lowly. We might be lowly and poor in the spirit, but, but we are rich in the spirit to know this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding through the Holy Scriptures. You know, and preaching the, the true doctrine, preaching the true righteous words of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call God, which is Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father's name in the Hebrew, and His only begotten Son, Amashiach Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh Shai in the Paleo Hebrew. And I would like to give all praise and glory to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. Until next time, I will say shalom.